Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on hacking Tosh. So in this video, I will be telling you how to make SSDT for AWAC or RTC. So RTC is a system clock and AWAC is also system clock used in the latest system. So this video is very important if you want to boot into Mac OS and if you want to have a proper system stability and you want to avoid crashes on every boot. One of the very important SSDTs for your Hackintosh and without this your Hackintosh is pretty damn weak. So let's start making SSDT for this system. So there are plenty of different things you have to see and you have to cover up in this video. So this video will be solely on making SSDT for your consumer grade intel machines not for the professional top end machines like x299 or x99 so this is for all the intel i core i generations so let's start so for the first number one step is you have to open the s dsdt if you haven't watched my video on how to extract dsdt for your specific hardware using the hackintosh then you have to watch this because this dsdt is different for every motherboard out there so you have to extract one for your and then we can proceed so i have downloaded i have extracted my dsdt and now i have to search and make ssdts out of this dsdt for my system so it's been long i have been explaining you how to make this i hope you know a bit of it now so the number one step is we search specific information in our dsdt and after that we cover up so number one step is you have to search this this is ACPI00E. I can write this again. ACPI000E. Okay. So after searching this, press enter. So if this does not show up for me, if this does not show up, then you have to do nothing for your AWAC or AWAC clock, which is the clock available in the new systems. If this does not show up, then we have to move to the second step which is RTC method. So how do we search the RTC method? So in this method we have to disable our RTC. So nothing shows up here. We have to move to the RTC method. So in this RTC method what we do is we search for another code which is P and P 0 B 0. Okay this came up. And look at this it's written right here device RTC and now what we have to basically do is we have to this is our RTC and we have to basically turn it on and sync it with our Mac OS because we have no other easy way using the STAS variable and we have to enable our RTC to work with our Mac OS to avoid a lot a lot of different errors and some of the errors are very annoying. One of them is uh, the system stucks at the APFS dot area and does not boot. There are other plenty of errors. I will write those error names in the description below as well. So you can figure out which problem this stuff solves up. Okay. So once you find this, we have the our RTC. Once you find this, what you have to do is you have to take a screenshot of this. Just for remembrance, nothing else. And then you have to search for another thing, which is you have to search for name space curly left curly bracket left bracket normal one ADR comma zero X double zero one F tetra zero. Okay, so this is it device LPC. Okay, so once this is there, it is low pin count. And we have to basically take a screenshot of this as well. Okay, we have a low pin count name, which is L device name is LPCB. Take a screenshot of this. And then we have to find our path, one more path, which is part of our PCI's lane. PMP0808. This came up. And again, we have to take a screenshot of this path scope stuff raba raba and tada okay when we have both of these location ids and name what you have to do is you have to use a default empty sstt rtc0 file and you have to do the fixes so what you have to do is first let's get our sstt started so 
I will add this file in the description below so you get that file. Make a new file and we enter this detail here. So in this detail, you can right now minimize the SSDT. So this is the empty file. And we write the name SSDT dash RT C zero and we save it as DSL. So we open our screenshot. And number two screenshot, which is the screenshot for device LPCB, the first address we searched. Look at this. So in here we have device LPCB. And if we go here, now you can see we have a device PCI LPCB. So in our case, we do not need to change the LPCB name here. Look, this is already same what was in the RTC file. So we got lucky here, LPCB and LPCB both way, RTC. Okay, then we move to our second photo. We zoom in and we find the name of our device, which is PCI0. PCI0, if we go here and again in here, we find the name as PCI0, PCI0. Again, we got really, really lucky and we don't have to change anything. So because of our good luck, we will don't have to make any changes. All we have to do now is go to file, save as, and write dash fixed and ACPI. And we have to change the format to dot AML file, save this, close this, close this, open our EFI, mount our EFI partition, go to EFI, config, ACPI, and again, here we get the RTC fixed file, read this one, and copy the new one we made. And that's it. So now after restarting the system, your system will have a proper RTC clock. And in our next video, your system will have a proper RTC clock. So that is how you fix one of the most annoying problem in making a Hackintosh, which is fixing the right clock, RTC or AVAC. And in the next video, I will be showing you the other ways of fixing the RTCs for X299 and X99 systems. And I will make a proper video on that once I get a new X299 and X99 systems in my studio. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any question queries, let me know in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. You can also contact me on Patreon and there I provide custom support for a lot of different hardware. And I have already made Hackintosh files as well if you want an easy way into the Hackintosh world. And contact me there. I will provide you with the files. I can support you with your Hackintosh systems, Windows systems, gaming systems, servers, and a lot of other stuff. Just contact me there. And until the very next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.